And this question, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piecewise function, we're going to graph it, and then we're going to comment on the continuity of it. So notice how there's only two legs, two pieces for this function. And the meeting point is at x is equal to 0. So what you want to do is you want to make two table of values. So you want to make it for x values that are less than 0. So we would put 0 here, and then we would put like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And the y values, when x is less than 0, are defined by this equation here, 2 to the power of x plus 2. Okay, so when we input this, 2 to the power of 0 is 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 to the power of negative 1 is 0 0.5, and then 0 0.5 plus 2 gives us 2.5. And then 2 to the power of negative 2 is 0 0.25 plus 2 gives us 2.25. 2 to the power of negative 3 is 1 over 8. 1 over 8 is the same as 0.125 plus 2 gives us 2.125, okay? And then to the right of x is equal to 0, the y values are defined by the square root of x plus 3. So let's say we have 0, 1. Let's actually use numbers that are going to be pretty smooth in that square root. So 0, 1, uh, 4, and then let's say 9. So square root of 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3. Square root of 1 is 1 plus 3 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2 plus 3 is 5. Square root of 9 is 3 plus 3 is uh, 6. Right? Yeah. So we have the table of values for the right piece of the function all the x values that are greater than or equal to 0. And then we have the table of values for the left piece for all the x values that are less than 0. Now, because this piece is not defined at x is equal to 0, we know that this coordinate here is going to be a whole. So when we graph this portion of the graph, the left piece, it's going to look like this. And there's going to be this whole at 0 and 3. So it takes the shape of an exponential function, which makes sense because this is an exponential function, 2 to the power of x plus 2. It's just been shifted up by 2. And it makes sense that the y values are getting closer and closer to 2 because if you remember, 2 to the power of x has a horizontal asymptote at 0. Well, if we shift it up by 2, then the horizontal asymptote is now going to be at that y value of 2. So it's going to get closer and closer to 2 as x goes to negative infinity, but it's never going to hit it. So this is the left portion of the graph. Now, what about the right portion? Well, if we plot these points, notice how 0 and 3 is the same coordinate as the 0 and 3 here. Well, here it was a whole, but here it's defined because here x is greater than or equal to 0. So this is actually going to be a solid dot just because the function is defined here at 0 and 3. And then if we plot the rest of these points, it's going to take this sort of shape, right? It's just the square root the reciprocal, uh, not the reciprocal, the uh, radical function, the square root of x parent function, and it's been shifted up by 3. So that's how this continuous, or that's how this uh, piecewise function will look. And I just said by accident, actually, that this function is continuous. And it is continuous because both of these meeting points at x is equal to 0 have the same y value. And for this leg, that y value is defined. So this function is continuous. Now let's say that this coordinate was 0 and 5, for example, instead of 3. Well, then what would happen would 
that left leg would still have a hole at zero and three, and then this new function would start at zero and five, and then go up like that. And then the function would be discontinuous because those y values at that meeting point, x is equal to zero, are different. We would have to take our pen off the paper to get to the other leg. But notice here how we can just smoothly go through the whole function without any brace or holes over its entire domain. So this piecewise function is continuous. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.